and we're bringing you an update on a fatal fire happening from overnight in Colchester. Investigators are actively working to figure out what caused the mobile home to go up in flames. It all happened at the Breezy Acres Mobile Home Park near Creek Farm Road. Let's get out to NBC 5's Adrian Pastor, who's been live for us since the early morning hours. And Adrian, last time we checked in, state of investigators were first arriving to the scene. Yeah, that's right, Sarah Beth. Since then, as you can see, there is a line of cars behind me here from Vermont State Police to the State Fire Investigator Unit. But we're going to take you a closer look over here to the actual scene of the fire. You can see that it's kind of just a charred exterior right now. There's not much you can make out of what used to be here. We do see a stove, but crews are actively out here trying to figure out what exactly happened and how the blaze all got started. A fire in a mobile home in Colchester, leaving many shaken throughout the neighborhood. The scene surrounded by crews from six area departments last Monday night. Colchester police responded to the call just after 11 p.m. Now, crews from the Vermont State Police and the state's fire investigation unit are working to find out what led to the blaze. It's too early in the investigation. Obviously, you can see from the, the destruction there that there was quite a fire. Uh, so it'll take some time to sort through that and uh, try to narrow down where it started and hopefully how it started. Officials confirmed one person was found dead at the scene. Nearby neighbors in the area tell us a woman lived in the home. The identity of the victim is still yet to be determined. In the meantime, investigators are urging the public to remain cautious as we approach the winter months when fires become more common. We don't have a lot of these that I've seen here in town, um, but with anything, right, normal uh, fire safety, extension cords, heaters, we're getting into that time of year, right? Um, you know, so any secondary heating sources within the house, make sure everything is up to, up to speed and that sort of thing. And then be, keep an eye out for your neighbors. Colchester PD tells us that they're expecting to be here at the scene throughout the rest of today. We'll, of course, continue to check in with them and bring you any live updates as they come into our newsroom. We're live in Colchester, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.